innovative hydroponic supply in Alcoa, Maryville, and we're going to find out what hydroponics are all about. I'm like a hydroponic virgin. I have known nothing, so we're here to learn and teach you. Let's see what she's got. I don't know anything about this stuff. You said this is expanded clay? Yep, it's an expanded so. clay. It's clay ball that's clay and it's heated to 2800 degrees. So it almost looks a little bit like a lava rock. It's expanded. It has channels for air and water. It helps uh, wick the water through the media as well as when it drains, there's a lot of negative space. It creates air for the roots of the plants, which is necessary. Gotcha. But you can use soil in there if you want to. This is just a no. No, this system, the soil would flow back into here. It would create a problem with the pump and the fish. I got gotcha. you. You can use pea gravel as long as it doesn't contain limestone, because limestone will affect your pH. So you need a pH inert material, and we use the hydrogen. But you can use gravel. So for 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 other hydroponic setups, you could add soil, though, right? No. Hydroponics is just nutrients in water. It's okay. known as soilless gardening. Did not know that. You can use cocoa, co like coconut yeah. water, which is similar to soil, um, or perlite or vermiculite, which are additives in the soil, but it's pretty much soil free. Wow. So this is not hydroponics. This no. is. This is an aquaponics okay. system, which uses fish in lieu of chemical or salt mineral fertilizers. That's why it's organic. That you is can, really cool. You can also grow organic in hydroponics as well. It just takes a little bit longer for the nutrients to break down to be available to the plants. So is the, the fish food organic? That, so it's kind of a pure system that way? It, or? The fish food is not organic. Okay, what, what do they eat? Uh, they eat commercial fish food. Okay, or you so can it's... grow your own fish food when you, when you grow the, uh, the duckweed and the other aquatic plants. You can actually grow okay. those, which would be organic. Gotcha. You've got a... Uh, Tilapia down here? Yeah, there's 17 fingerling tilapia in the tank. Really? And they provide um, ammonia and waste, which through the ebb and flow system is brought up. It floods the grow bed every 15, no, one 15 minute segment per hour. And it fills up the bacteria, almost like a fish filter. You know, when you have a fish tank, your bacteria in your fish filter right. breaks down your nitrite into nitrate and removes that. It's similar to that. The, in the grow bed, that's expanded clay, it's called hydrogen, and it has nitrifying bacteria in there which break down the ammonia and the nitrate into nitrate. Into nitrate. The plants use that nitrogen from the nitrate, clean the water, it returns back to the fish. So all you have to do is keep it topped off with fresh chlorine free water for the fish. Okay. And, and the fish take care of all of the fertilizing for the plants. What feeds the fish? Fish food. Fish food goes in. Mm -hmm. Now you can use commercial fish food for tilapia, for like commercial fisheries, or you can grow duckweed or aquatic plants to feed the fish as well. It depends on how much time you want. It's also really high in protein. People use it in shakes too, but I haven't gone there. Use the uh, the, the weed that they feed the, the oh, duckweed. Oh, the duckweed? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. You've got quite an assortment here. What what all's growing here? The cherry tomato, uh, summer squash. This is a little baby uh, cauliflower. That's a celebrity tomato that I just stuck in there. Oregano, coleus. It's, it's just decorative. Um, basil seedlings. On the other side there, I have some small peppers that I just stuck in. So exactly. they just like a garden. They mm -hmm. and it's all organic. Uh, it's a fish create the waste. There's no, I don't use any additional fertilizers or pesticides. Yes, pH is uh, very important because the plants, since there's no soil as a buffer, um, they need a specific pH in order to draw the nutrients out of the water. Usually between 5.5 and 6.5. Uh, ideally, you'd want it to be around 5.8 to 6. This is, a, this is a hydroponic system, and it is a combination of deep water culture, which means there's a whole bunch of water underneath here for the roots to have access to, and aeroponics, which means sprayed water. So there's a pump in here that spins, and it sprays a mist, yeah. and it keeps the plants moist, and it keeps the nutrient available to them, as well as it oxygenates the water so nothing goes stagnant. Type that would come in and buy stuff. 
I have people like kids doing science experiments. I have older people who are disabled, who can no longer garden outside, who can't bend over and weed. And in these type of applications, you don't have to weed. So um, just everybody. I mean, there's just, it just really blew me away. High school kids interested in botany and horticulture, college students, uh, science teachers, um, organic gardeners who organically garden at their home who sell organic soils as well and organic pest controls and organic and have fertilizer. control of what they're growing and eating inside. Exactly. And a lot of people are also um, not necessarily completely off the grid, but more of a mindset that they want to be less dependent on supermarkets and less dependent on the food system because they don't trust it. So they want to grow their own fish, their own fresh fish, their own vegetables. They know what's going into it. You know, it's always going to grow your own. Right. So this, this looks like a pretty big operation here. How much food could you like generate? I um, mean, is it a lot or? It's not, it's not, it doesn't really break down that way. Um, it's hard to, I'm not sure how much, but I mean, a lot. I'm just wondering, is it a, like a supplement or are people like, they grow um, most of their was, food? It would be a supplement through the winter um, to your outdoor garden. Yes, gotcha. it would be. It depends on how much you want to use. I wouldn't say that that, have eight plants in there so whatever you can get off of eight plants you know whether whatever it, whether it's tomatoes peppers uh, eggplants um, and you don't let them get too big like I did with the eggplant which is so this enormous. I guess there's water in here yeah there is it's um this is the reservoir and this is filled up to 24 gallons there is a there are air stones in here like you would use in a fish tank to help create an aerobic environment there's a pump it pumps the liquid up into the feeding tubes. It feeds and then drops down through the bucket into this channel pipe, and it returns back into the reservoir. You use 90% less water hydroponic gardening than you do in the soil. So is there any uh, like uh, special nutrients in the water? You Yep. We're using um, a three-part flora series by General Hydroponics um, with this, and it's their uh, blend that they've had for over 30 years. It's their tried and true blend, and um, it is a chemical salt fertilizer. It is non-organic, but um, it works fantastic. Gotcha. If you wanted to do an organic, they you, have those? You definitely mm -hmm. can. There's definitely organic options for hydroponic gardening. Um, Roots Organics, uh, made by Aurora out of Eugene, Oregon is a very good company. They have organic uh, hydroponic nutrients, and so does General Hydroponics as well. I think I saw you. Those are for sale here, right? I thought I saw some of yeah. that up there. Yeah, there sure is. Mm -hmm. and, and the plants, like, how, how did you get this this guy to start growing? What? Right over here. I'll show you. They are an organic um, bark yeah. composite. And you I touch it. <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. You put the seeds in there and they start and then you just lift them out and transplant them into your hydroponic, your aquaponic, or your soil garden. Okay. Moving right along, can you tell us what the uh, fungal dominance yes, is? Yes, yes. This is a um you can take you want to take a look inside. There's some a little bit in there. I don't know, it's kind of dark to see. Some tea there? Yes, this is for compost tea. It's made by Titan Controls and we just got them in brand new. Uh, it's a new system and you use um, prepackaged, made by Extreme Gardening, prepackaged tea packs. And it takes about two days to brew and it compost tea, high in humic acid, beneficial bacteria, and uh, mycorrhizal fungus that build a symbiotic relationship with the roots to help uproot nutrients. If somebody walked in there and said, I, I've never done this, mm -hmm. I want to give it a shot, where do I start? Right. What, what would you tell them? Well, if they were interested in the hydroponics, um, we'd start with a little greenhouse system like this to get your seeds started or your cuttings if you wanted to take cuttings from established plants. Um, and then you can start with a small system. We have a simple one unit system here and it comes with beginner nutrients and your hydrogen and your little for one plant. Um, you could do this in a sunny spot in your house or your patio. Uh, very simple. That way you wouldn't have to buy an external light. Um, to get started, that's a perfect way. How in the world did you get into this? What, what started it? Um, you know, I used to work in an orchid nursery in Florida. My father was a um, master gardener in Florida. I always grew up 
going to the botanical gardens, going to the different nature preserves. He was always in tune with that. Uh, he also grew bonsai. And uh, it just was something that was kind of part of life. It was just, you know, knowing the trees, knowing the plants, uh, growing your own things to supplement, you know, what you buy at the store. So I came up here, did my own hydroponic gardening, and then I felt like maybe there wasn't really a great place to get advice or talk plants or uh, find organic supplies in this area. I mean, there are a lot of farmers and there's a lot of agriculture here. Right. And I felt that that was kind of a missing link that I thought I could help bring that. And I'd seen other hydroponic stores around the country and the vibe that they had and how people really cared about plants and people. And I thought I'd like to bring that here if I could. Cool. And you've been open how long? To... Um, only since August. No kidding. So less than a year. Is it yeah. going well? I mean, is it? Yeah, it is. You know, um, I'm blessed that the customers I've had have been repeat. Most everybody who comes through the door does come back in, or they'll come in and bring their husband or their wife. Oh, you got to see this. Yeah. And, you know, it really generates excitement. And um, people who come in here, plant people really care a lot about the environment. They yeah. care about plants and relationships. and. It's just a really neat clientele. I bet you have neat customers. I do. You know. It's fantastic. And like I said, it goes all the way from elementary school kids doing science projects, uh, high school science teachers doing aquaponic gardening, people who want to be off the grid, who want to do their own gardening, raise their own fish, you know, elderly people who are retired and want a hobby, um, or who work with the extension agency. I mean, it's just, it, I had no idea how many people I would meet wow. and how awesome the customers would be.